Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video uh, from chapter 11.5 and here also we will be discussing power factors, apparent power with the help of example 11.10 and practice problem 11.10. So just for your information, I have a video which guides you how to use complex function of a Casio calculator. So if you Google this and watch this video, it will be much easier for you to solve uh, the subsequent problems with the help of calculator. Okay, we'll come straight to example 11.10. Determine the power factor of the circuit and also we have to calculate the average power. So first of all, uh, we know that power factor can be calculated as cosine of this angle. So if this is the um, power triangle, then the angle here is called theta v minus theta i. Same triangle, if we uh, refer it as an impedance triangle, then this angle is called theta, which is actually equal to theta v minus theta i. So for power, power factor, we can use either this formula or this formula. Now we have to find first of all Z, the total impedance of the circuit and which from the circuit you can see that these two are in parallel and the combination is in series with 6. So Z will be 6 parallel, uh, 6 plus 4 parallel minus J2 and solving this and here I'm talking that if you use your calculator in complex mode you can directly get the answer. Else we have to first convert this into polar, convert this also into polar, divide them, then convert them into rectangular, add them. So it is slightly a tedious process. Okay, so the answer will be 6.8 minus J1.6, which when converted into polar form will get the magnitude and the angle. So this angle is the angle theta. So the equivalent circuit will be now like this. This is the input and this is total impedance. So theta now is minus 13.24 and therefore the power factor will be cosine of theta which is equal to 0 0.9734. Now as in the previous video we have to write whether this is leading or lagging. And the easiest way I had described earlier also is to look at this formula. This formula is for the inductive circuit if it is positive and if it is negative it represents capacitive circuit. And we have also learned that from the shortcut civil CIV means in capacitor current leads voltage and in inductor current lags voltage. Now in our case you can see this there is a minus sign that means this is a capacitive circuit and in capacitor as we have mentioned current leads and when current leads that means the power factor also leads. So we will write it as leading power factor leading. Next we have to find the average power or it is also called real power so this is the average power we can write it from even from this triangle it will be the apparent power or the hypotenuse and cosine of theta will give us the real power. So VRMS, IRMS cosine of theta. We know that cosine of theta is also called power factor. Now from the circuit we have the VRMS given but we don't know IRMS so we can calculate IRMS from here. So IRMS will be VRMS over Z, writing the two values and solving we get IRMS and now we'll use this formula. So VRMS, IRMS and power factor we are only use, uh, writing the magnitude not the angle. So 30 and the magnitude of this and then power factor is 0 0.973. So the answer will be 125 watt. 
Now we can also find the average power directly from I square R formula. Now in, in this case, if you see this, if we represent it in terms of resistance capacitance, it will be something like this. 6.8 will be the resistive value and minus J1.6 will represent the capacitive value. So we'll use this resistor because power in watt is consumed only in resistor. So I square R 4.286 square multiplied by the resistor. So power is 1. 125 watts is the same. Now we come to the practice problem. Similar technique exactly except that the circuit is slightly different in this case. The same formula. We have to find the equivalent circuit. Look at the circuit now. 8 plus 8 minus J6 will be in parallel with J4. So 8 minus J6 in parallel with J4. And then the total will be added with 10 ohms. So it is added with 10. Solving this, the answer will be 11.88 J4.47 plus. And in polar form, we'll get this answer. So now that we have the circuit, the voltage and the total impedance, from here we can now write theta, theta is 20.62. And so the power factor is cosine of theta, 0.936 lagging. I have written it directly lagging because if you look at the equivalent uh, value, this is uh, inductive. Plus sign means inductive. And in inductor, we know current lags the voltage. Therefore, the power factor will also lag. So it is lagging. Next is the power, average power, same formula. This is the circuit. This is the VRMS. So first of all, we'll calculate IRMS. So IRMS, 13 point minus 2, 20 point 62. And the average power or the real power, VRMS, IRMS power factor putting the magnitude value only and the power factor, the answer is 2.007 kilowatt. Here also we can directly calculate in terms of I square R. So I, I is 13 square and R from here you can see this is the real part which is R and this is imaginary part so we'll use this 11.88 as R and the answer we get is the same answer. I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.